Welcome to the Cisco Support Community. Today we present a live Cisco Support Community Expert Series webcast event. During our event today, the topic will be Connected Analytics for Network Deployment with June Jang. My name is Francine Richards, and I'm the Web Marketing Project Manager for the Cisco Support Community. Our expert joining me today is June Jang. June is a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer in Cisco's Data and Analytics Business Group. She has 14 years of experience in the networking industry. Her areas of expertise include routing and switching, unified communications, virtualization, network management, analytics, and SAAS. June maintains a CCIE certification in routing and switching since 2004, and she has been a frequent speaker at Cisco Live since 2006. Welcome, June. Thank you. Joining June today is Hanlon Fang and Bob Glithero. Hanlon is a Senior Product Manager at Analytics BU Managing connect, Connected Analytics for Network Deployment. With over 15 years of experience in technology and product management, she defines CAN-D product roadmap and prioritizes release requirements, drives GTM strategy with service enablement process, and guides engineering teams on solution delivery. Additionally, Hanlon holds an MS in computer science and an MBA focusing on entrepreneurship business development with a passion to deliver solutions that truly solve customers' problems. Bob is a product marketing manager in Cisco's analytics business unit, where he focuses on analytics for network infrastructure, including CAN-D, and for collaboration. Prior to joining Cisco, Bob was a marketing director for a startup focused on machine learning in the cloud. He's also worked in the telecom OSS BSS space at Portal Software, which is now Oracle Billing and Revenue Management, and previously at Nortel and he began his career at Ernest & Young. Now, I'd like to briefly outline the format for today's Expert Series webcast. June will start with her presentation and demo for the first 60 minutes of the program, and then we'll dive into the live question submissions for the remainder of today's event. During our live presentation, you may submit questions to be answered by June and the team of Cisco technical experts using the Q&A box on the right-hand side of your console. The team of technical experts is well-versed in Candy, so please begin posting your questions now to give them the best chance of answering them. And also, if you experience any technical issues, please post your questions in the chat. We'll be asking polling questions during this webcast, and we hi highly encourage you to participate by answering them. You may download a copy of today's PDF presentation using the link in the chat window. We also have some upcoming Ask the Expert events. And the first one is uh, Cisco DCN Solutions on B-Block, FlexPods, and SAP HANA. This is an opportunity to learn and ask questions about utilizing Cisco Data Center technology and integrated solutions. And this is going to go on until October 24th. So now let's get started with uh, today's event. We're going to start out with the polling question. How many of you heard about Cisco Connected Analytics for Network Deployment? So a, or the first question, yes, I, I have, or no, I have not. So go ahead and take a moment to answer that question, and that will give our experts an opportunity to tailor their presentation today to meet your needs. So make sure you uh, go ahead and submit your questions, as we'll answer them a little bit later in today's webcast. And now I would like to hand the mic over to June, who will start her presentation. Thank you, Fazin. So uh, thanks, everyone, for attending today's webcast. In today's session, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, connected analytics for network deployment. And this is a new solution from Cisco. Now, what I'm going to uh, start with, and this is the agenda today, is I'm going to start with a quick overview and talk about how it works, and then talk about uh, the security aspects of the Cisco Connected Network Analytics solution. And we will also go over the data workflow. And at the end of the session, I'm going to give you a demo uh, to show you the solution in motion. All right, so I'm going to start with the subject we all familiar with and we all care about. Uh, that's the network. So the networks are constantly changing 
uh, you are upgrading your hardware, you are upgrading your software, you are consolidating uh, your software, and uh, you're also enabling the new feature. So things are changing. In general, the network is getting more complicated, which means you may have to spend more time and hire more people to ensure your network service availability. That's why uh, you are looking for minimizing disruption. But uh, where to start and what areas to focus on, especially when you're talking about disruption and what are the KPIs, how to measure your network disruption level. So in many cases, uh, you don't know, and you come to Cisco for the help. And you are wondering what Cisco is doing to address these challenges. And that's exactly what we are working on, and uh, that's some area we can definitely help you with, because we are the expert for the network, and we are the expert for your network. So what we learn from our expertise is that the network optimization requires a multi-dimensional approach, uh, requires a date approach. Now, by multi-dimensional, I mean data is collected from multiple resources, including the network itself, and then analyze against intellectual capital, which results in business outcomes. So this is our unique uh, approach uh, based on our expert technology. We leverage your network data to understand uh, what's in the network and how each device is deployed and how each device is configured. And then we further leverage support case data to understand what disruptions are occurring in the network. And based on these data, so, uh, sorry, based on this data, uh, we utilize um, our intellectual capital, and then we have um, a team of scientists and network experts come out with a set of algorithms to analyze the data and then to provide insights. So you can see analytics uh, is really uh, the critical piece here because uh, it automates and then it actually um, also do the correlation and it correlates our intellectual capital. It also helps to prioritize. And given the nature is also predictive, it brings the data insight into operations. All this cannot be done without analytics. And we also be able to monetize uh, this unique approach and come up with connected analytics for network deployment. We call Candy. And this is a software-based and uh, is subscription-based um, hosted service. And the network deployment data, as you can see here, is collected uh, using a network collector, which we call the CSPC collector. So if you have a small net total care, if you have network optimization service, so you already have that collector and you already have the data collected. We just leverage that same data and do the analysis. So, so the analysis um, is done first for the network deployment data, and then we also processing the support case data, which we uh, get that data from our Cisco internal database. So these data run through a Hadoop-based uh, big data and analytics engine, and this is actually a common platform for, for the connected analytics family we are working on right now. And we go through the visualization engine. The insight uh, is 
available in the portal for your consumption. So with the portal, uh, you are able to see the KPIs, um, and we already, we already defined the KPI uh, for you. And uh, you will be able to further leverage your KPI and then do peer comparison and do uh, industry benchmarking. And you know uh, which area to focus on in terms of corrective action and what uh, issues you need, to, you need to fix, including the outliers and the to-do list. So that's candy uh, in a nutshell. I just talk about what's candy and why we need candy. And let's take a look at how. <laughs> so when you deploy your network uh, based on your business requirements, uh, you gotta choose hardware and you gotta choose software and you gotta choose uh, features. So when you do the deployment, uh, are you thinking about uh, consistency? Uh, for example, consistent hardware, consistent software, and um, cookie cutter configuration. I'm sure um, this is something you want to do, but how to measure that and how to ensure that. And similarly, uh, I just talked about a network disruption. How do you measure that? So uh, there's no KPI right now uh, in the market. Uh, so what we are doing is base our intellectual capital and base on your data. And uh, like I mentioned, we have a team of our data scientists and a network engineer come out with a set of algorithm to create uh, brand new KPIs and to help you measure your deployment. And this includes a uh, consistency index, complexity index, and a disruption index. So this gives you a new perspective to measure your network. These KPIs are further used for trending and for peer comparison and industry benchmarking. So you know how you are doing compared to your peer and compared to the industry. And we also uh, analyze customer service request data, uh, the support case data. And to, the purpose here is to identify the top platforms and the software version that cause network disruption. And that's um, what analytics can help you with. So now let's take a look at uh, these three KPIs uh, in more details. We defined network disruption index uh, by analyzing the service request data in C3 database. So when you open a support case uh, with Cisco contract, uh, we have service request data logged in our database. What we learn is that every support case is marked differently based on how severe the support case is, how long it takes to resolve, if the service request uh, associated with escalation, defects, uh, or the outages or the RMAs, all those are considered as factors in our algorithm, and we weigh them differently. After normali normalization, we come up with a score between 0 and 10, uh, 0 to 10, and this is how we define network disruption level. The lower the score, the better. And we further uh, break down into uh, th is this a network issues or software issues or your operation issues? It allows you to benchmarking yourself and uh, compare with your peer and peer typically uh, your competitor and your vertical industry uh, with the trending report. Now, uh, for network consistency index, um, I just talked about when you deploy your network, uh, you got to choose hardware, you got to choose software, and you got to choose features. 
So consistency is derived from uh, these uh, three uh, areas. Um, and let me give you an example. So for example, if you have 200 branch routers, the consistency means uh, you want to have similar hardware platform, uh, same software version, and uh, cookie cutter configuration. You want to achieve that, and if you are able to achieve that, you have a high consistent network. Essentially, this index is to measure how devices are performing similar functions uh, consistently deploying, and that's how we define consistency. And we come up a score between 1 to 1,000, the higher the better. And we further break down into hardware consistency, software consistency, and feature consistency. Now, consistency is always pair, pairing with uh, complexity index because we need to put consistency into context. For Network complexity index, uh, we consider two factors. First, how many features are enabled and uh, the complexity of the features because every feature is weighted different, differently. So uh, if you enable access lists, um, uh, you, that the weight is definitely different uh, if you enable routing protocols. Uh, so, this essentially is a score that uh, you use to uh, understand uh, the feature adoption, so how you leverage uh, Cisco technology. And we have a, a team of uh, CCIE working on the feature rules and uh, the weight for each feature. Complexity index uh, is neutral is also between 1 to 1,000, and we further break down into uh, families and rows. So that's three KPIs. Uh, now, what's important is uh, these three KPIs are naturally correlated. So to get a holistic view of your network deployment, you need to consider all three together. The goal is to have a high consistency number and a low disruption number. And if your disruption level uh, number is high, you should take a look at your consistency number. You usually have a low consistency number. And if you are able to improve your consistency number, then you will eventually decrease your disruption disruption index, uh, which means you will dis decrease your disruption level. So that's uh, about uh, three KPIs. So um, the KPIs are definitely uh, very useful, uh, but at the end of the day, um, uh, it's not about a score. So what you want to know is the value beyond KPIs. So firstly, um, uh, let's take a look at this slide because um, this is definitely the best part of analytic is that um, we also uh, incorporate uh, the KPIs into your change management process. So we have a feature that you can track in changes and you can also score the changes. And this is basically to have a quantity measurement to ensure uh, your network changes are improving the network and not the other way around. And also, um, as you can see, because you have the KPI, then you got this trending line uh, over the past 12 months, et cetera. And that gives you the visibility uh, for the future. Uh, as a network engineer, I know it's not uh, very difficult to understand um, what's happening right now and um, how to fix it. 
However, um, you are going to leverage analytics, then you will be able to tell what will happen in the future based on what's happening right now or uh, what was happened in the past. And that's um, the key point uh, for the analytics. And when you're making a business decision uh, or your management is making business decision, you want to consider um, how your peer is doing and how the industry is doing. So um, the case, because we have the KPI and we give you the peer comparison and the industry benchmarking, and that definitely help you to make a business decision. So that's um, beyond KPIs. Now, uh, let's talk about the security aspect. Um, now, uh, we all know this is a hosted service. Uh, this is a different from just a regular network management tool you purchase and you install. And solution is hosted on Cisco service. And so let's take a look at end-to-end -end security aspects uh, for this solution. And the first component is the collector. The collector is deployed on your network, and the collector is uh, Linux, uh, its appliances. And it's hardened, uh, although we do have a software appliances where you can download the OVA file and uh, install uh, on your or virtual uh, infrastructure uh, to install the collector uh, as a software appliances. The collector itself is hardened. Um, it doesn't have a root access, and uh, we have a password policy enforced. And secondly, uh, the second component is uh, the data transport. Uh, the data will securely transport it to Cisco data center. Uh, data is encrypted, uh, transported where HTTPS, and all the sensitive information such as SMP, community string, passwords, uh, are stripped out uh, before the transportation. And then on the data center part, and Cisco data center, we are following the secure InfoSec uh, policy. Uh, it's a lock key facility, and the Cisco data center only accepts a uh, register uh, collector. And last component is the portal. You are going to log into Cisco.com and you, with your credentials and to uh, view the insights from the portal. And the portal is, uh, the view is segregated, uh, the data is segregated, which means uh, you uh, will only see the data uh, in your company. So that's the end-to-end -end, uh, picture for the security architecture. And we do have a security white paper we just posted on the community. Um, you can take a look at uh, if you want more details on security. Now, I also want to take uh, just show you um, how exactly the data flow. Uh, and so this is the consistency and the complexity data flow, which the collector uh, is required. So firstly, uh, the data, the configuration data, uh, is collected uh, from your network and uploaded to Cisco Data Center. The mandatory data we need to collect uh, the output uh, for, uh, from the four show commands, uh, show version, show running configuration, show module, and show hardware, uh, show diag. So we only uh, need those um, for CLI commands, outputs. So that's how we discover your hardware, uh, your software, your configuration, and your features uh, enabled on your devices. Then in Cisco data center, data is validated uh, for coverage. We need to make sure at least 80% uh, of your devices um, covered by our algorithm. We also validate for data completion. 
after data is validated, uh, it's analyzed against uh, intellectual capital. Now, the application running in Cisco Data Center uh, will run the algorithm and calculate the network consistency index and the complexity index. Then the report is published uh, in the portal uh, for you to access and for you to consume. So that's the consistency and the complexity workflow. In this case, the collector is required. Now, let's take a look at the disruption workflow. Now, like I mentioned, uh, when you open up a service request, a support case, um, the support case is saved in our database. And this is located um, in Cisco Data Center. Now, based on the contract list um, provided by uh, you and our algorithm and our application will run from our Cisco data center to, to uh, retrieve the case data along with the industry data and then to calculate uh, the network disruption index, provide a report, and then publish on the portal uh, for you to access and for you to consume. And this flow, um, as I mentioned here, no collector uh, is required because everything uh, we need, uh, we already have that in our database. So that's the, the second workflow. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to stop here. And then before I'm doing the demo, uh, I'm going to uh, ask you uh, the polling questions. So the polling, the polling question here is, uh, is data security going to be a concern for you and your organization for the hosted services? And uh, this is a yes or no questions. Uh, you just check yes or no. Now, with that, um, while you are filling in the uh, polling questions, uh, I'm going to uh, just prepare my demo and make sure my application is ready. Um, and then I'm going to show you the solution in motion. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to share. <laughs> okay, so what uh, you are seeing, and this is the portal uh, for Candy, uh, the solution I just go over in the last 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of where we are using the presentation, I'm going to show you the solution in motion. And firstly, uh, one thing uh, I want to highlight here uh, before we do the demo is uh, this is not a dummy data. The demo data I'm using is not a dummy, a dummy data. It's uh, Cisco IT data. So uh, this is a real customer data. All right, so um, what you are seeing here is a KPI dashboard, and that's exactly the KPI uh, that's coming out the solution. And as I mentioned that, Candy is designed for both uh, IT director and a network engineer. For IT director, uh, Candy provides this KPI dashboard, uh, which provides a glance view into network deployment posture. For example, uh, like I explained, uh, you can tell is your network deployed consistently in terms of hardware, software, and the feature. And this is represented by a complexity index here, which in this case is 514 out of 1,000, and which uh, definitely has some room to improve. 
And then um, IT director can also uh, leverage a network complexity index uh, to understand how they are leveraging Cisco technology, how they are uh, adopting uh, Cisco features. And most importantly, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, every customer would want to know uh, how to measure network disruption level and uh, what they are doing in terms of network disruption uh, level. So um, network disruption index uh, resolve these challenges by provide you a uh, quantity measurement um, to tell you what your network disruption level is. And with this data to start with, um, you can further take a look at more details uh, in, term, uh, in terms of peer benchmarking as well as peer comparison and industry benchmarking. So when you click on this launch application, uh, you will get a more details uh, about Mm -hmm. um, you will have more insights uh, from this interface. Now, what are those uh, additional insights you can get uh, from the disruption index analysis? Now, for a IT director, like I mentioned, what they care about is high-level trending information over the time, as well as how they compare with their peer and how they are comparing themselves uh, with industry. For example, uh, in this case, uh, you know, uh, our Cisco IT is, uh, is doing much better than our peer and then uh, with our industry. So that's uh, the index um, you can further get. Um, additionally, uh, for network engineer, um, what they really care about most is troubleshooting root cause. Um, if, for instance, uh, there's a um, spike line uh, over a period of time, they want to know what are the top components cause the increase of network disruption. And because the analytics capability build out uh, from the solution, and we strictly identify those are the top components that cause the network disruption. And we also identify the top uh, software version that uh, cause the network disruption. And for each platform, for example, uh, for Cask, uh, you are able to identify uh, is this mostly hardware issues and software issues as, as well as operation issues. Now, if you need a raw data, we definitely have that, uh, which I can show you a little bit more uh, when I am demoing the reports. But um, essentially, this anal uh, analysis is going to help you for a network engineer, come up with a plan saying, okay, to improve my network disruption, I'm going to focus on UCS, I'm going to focus on KSSK. And for KSSK, I'm going to focus on software uh, because it looks like um, mo most of the issues are due to bugs uh, or defects or I'm going to uh, focus on operations uh, issue uh, due to uh, which, which in most cases are due to by misconfiguration. So that's um, kind of a visibility you will be able to gain from the disruption index. Now that's the first level of the information. Now the second level of information is really, uh, now you know the area you are going to focus on. Uh, the next step is you need to go to the device level and see what are exactly the device. I need to uh, work on the software. I need to work on the features. So that's where uh, the consistency and the complexity uh, index uh, and analysis uh, can definitely help you. Um, because as a network engineer, I, I know you have 100 things a day. So you need to have a quick way 
to identify, for example, if you have a 1,000, uh, 7,000 devices like you are seeing right now, you want to just find out the top five devices you need to fix and then be able to improve your network disruption. And that's exactly this uh, visualization can help you with that. So let me show you how this is going to help you quickly identify the, the top outliers. So what you are seeing, a bubble here, and this is a snapshot of your network. And this is based on the data in July. And this is um, about um, telling you that um, you have a network consistency of 514 out of 1,000, uh, which definitely can be improved. And um, you are uh, having a complexity index of 249. Now, what uh, you want to do is uh, you need to uh, go to the platform level, or you can also set up customized group, but by default, we do the self-learning. And uh, we are build up a uh, different layers for you. So for example, uh, let's say we want to focus on CASSK on the software or on the feature side. So what you can do is um, you can uh, drill down into a certain platform you, got, you want to focus on. And you can see we are doing self-learning. Uh, for example, we are build up um, group of devices uh, based on product family and then uh, product platform. And then we process their configuration line by line and group the devices uh, together as a cluster. If the device is on the same cluster, which means uh, they have a very consistent um, configuration, uh, typically they are the devices perform the similar functions. Now, you get to this cluster and still you have almost 1,000 devices you got to work on. So what we have uh, what in this visualization, and that's the core, is that we have this outlier feature uh, allows you to quickly identify the outlier, which other devices uh, you got to focus on. And if you take a look at uh, out of 780 devices, we identify five outliers for you. That's definitely something you can take action. Um, so not only that, uh, for each outlier, uh, we highlight the score and we also give you the, uh, the details. Now, if we take a look at these details and uh, you can find out uh, this device has very low consistency score as well as feature consistency score. And let's take a look at why. Now, when you click software, and this is going to tell you that for the devices uh, in this platform, uh, normally uh, your devices, most of other devices, they are running 12.2 and this device is somehow is running a totally different version. So, which means uh, you got to uh, fix the software for this particular devices. And that's definitely the a feature you get only from the, uh, analytics um, because uh, it's identify uh, the top issues and it identify why. And similarly for feature and we show you all the features you enable as well as um, the features uh, that's only enabled on this particular devices. If you really want to get very, very detailed, uh, what you can do that is you can set up a, a policy devices and then uh, which are already set up and then you can just um, compare the configuration between your policy devices and uh, with your outlier. So that's um, 
the policy device feature that can bring to you. Now, after you uh, finish identify the outliers and then you take action, the next uh, big step is how do you make sure you want to make sure the changes uh, you made are actually improving your network? Uh, uh, you are not doing something wrong, uh, but you need to prove, right? You need to show your management that how network is improving because of these changes, and that's why we have this change analysis feature. Um, allows you to compare the changes uh, between the two snapshots. So this will give you the comparison between the two collection, a down to the detail on how many devices were added and how many devices were removed. And in, it also uh, provides you the details about how many features uh, changes and how many software changes, how many hardware changes. And uh, most uniqueness uh, is uh, it gives you the score comparison. So uh, this tells you that between April and July, you improve your consistency score by uh, 40 or 50, etc. And you can always uh, take a look at uh, a particular change. And um, that will tell you the details of the change as well as the, the score comparison between uh, the two snapshots. So this gives you more a uh, justification on why uh, you need to do, for example, uh, a particular changes and how that change uh, bring the impact. Uh, to your network. And we definitely has a, uh, in terms of a change analysis, uh, we definitely has a more uh, proactive approach as well is what we call a uh, software uh, simulation uh, features. For example, um, if uh, you want to typically, uh, when you do the upgrade, uh, it takes a long time. So sometimes you want to do a phase-by-phase -phase, uh, approach. So what this tool can support you or can help you is tell you that, for example, um, if you want to uh, improve your network uh, consistency, uh, especially for software consistency. What are the devices uh, you can do the upgrade first? Uh, what other, for example, the cluster cluster you got to focus on? And then if you are doing a face-by-face -face approach, if you just do like 25% of an upgrade, uh, what's the score you will see in terms of improvement? And what are the devices uh, you need to do the upgrade if you just do the 25% uh, of upgrade? Or uh, you can also see, well, if I want to see like 50%, uh, that will give you um, uh, the list of devices as well. So this is going to help you in terms of um, software planning and software upgrade in a more proactive uh, fashion. So all I'm demoing here is mostly on the visualization part. I know many of you want to see the reports. Um, we do have uh, reports, so the data here you are seeing, no matter is a bubble chart uh, or a grid view, you can do the export. And uh, also, uh, at the end of the day, for example, I know many customers, um, they want to have uh, some summary or even the raw data for all their cases, uh, for all the support cases over the past uh, 12 months. Uh, so that's 
definitely uh, default reports uh, that's strictly out of a portal. You will see uh, the, the the nice uh, pie chart uh, or uh, even the raw data um, for all your support cases uh, over the past 12 months. And this data, uh, you can export it uh, uh, as a chart view or as a table view. Now, um, at last, um, uh, we also have one single uh, summary report. Uh, you can download from the portal, and that pretty much cover everything. Um, I just go over uh, within my demo, and you get a glance view for all your uh, KPIs, as well as the ranking for each product family, et cetera, and other network disruption and index, as well as the case data is there. So that's about a demo. So I'm going to um, go back and unshare. <coughs> I'll share and then let me uh, summarize and ask the last. Um, uh, I just go over that, so I'm not going to repeat that. Let me just uh, summarize the session, and I have one more uh, polling question for you, and then we are going to open up the Q and A session. So, um, so I hope uh, you can take away from the session is. Um, you know we have a new solution coming out, and that's uh, Cisco Connected Analytics for Network Deployment Solution. Um, this is a software that analyzes uh, your network uh, deployment data and the service uh, request data, and give you visualization and help you to pinpoint the configuration and the deployment issues. And uh, you can um, view the uh, insights uh, directly via portal, or if you already have a consulting engineer or even the uh, FTS engineer, you can leverage their help um, to get insight uh, for your network. And this is running on the big data analytics engine built on Hadoop. And as I just mentioned that uh, you get KPIs, uh, you get the capability to compare with your peer and compare with your uh, industry. And you are able to uh, come up a prioritized list, come up with a outlier, and then you will be able to do them. Uh, trending and tracking changes and prove with your management that uh, you actually improve your network uh, by making um, optimization. With that, I'm going to um, ask you the last polling questions, um, and this is, um, what is, what, or what do you think will be the most useful aspects of Connected analytics for network deployment for you and your organization. And this includes the couple capability I just demo. First is a peer comparison and industry benchmarking. And secondly is you got KPI to measure network disruption. And thirdly is uh, you got KPI to measure network consistency and the complexity. And D is you can have outliers, you can identify outliers and prioritize your corrective actions. And E is uh, you can do the change tracking and do the analysis. And you might feel like um, all these aspects are going to help in your organization, then you just pick F. And lastly, while well, you don't see value right now, and uh, you can pick G. So uh, please take time to uh, fill in the answers for the polling questions. And before uh, I pass the ball to 
okay, so before um, we open up the Q&A, uh, I want to show you the contacts. Uh, so if you do have for further questions, um, just send your email uh, to the alias I list here. And uh, Hanling is the product manager for the solution. And I am the technical marketing engineer. Um, and we also have a business development manager. And if you have further questions, um, feel free to post your questions in our community as well. With that, I'm going to open up a Q&A. <laughs> uh, thanks, June. Great presentation. I want, want to thank everyone for participating in the event polling. And we're going to answer some of the questions our viewers have submitted today. So if you can't stay with us for the Q&A, please be sure to click on the evaluation link provided in the chat to let us know how this session met your business needs and expectations. Uh, so the first question here, June, um, is regarding deployment. Uh, deployment will be in, in campus network or DCN or both. And I think this is referencing the network deployment model point of view. So um, I interpret this deployment as uh, because the only uh, component you, you really need to deployment uh, is the collector. So collector will uh, deploy on your network. And this, uh, the collector can dis discover all type of uh, network deployment. And um, you can put it on, on your campus or you can put it on your branches. Um, so it's flexible as long as it can reach out for all the devices uh, you want to manage or you want to gain the visibility. Okay. And then there's a question here on how it will be integrated in case of having two data centers in two different locations using Cisco OTB. Uh, so it uh, so if you have a two data center, uh, just like I mentioned earlier, if you have a collector that's, um, I mean, the collector can be positioned that it's reachable to all your devices, even they are in different data center. You can have a one central collector, or if you prefer, you can have um, two collectors um, in different data center. Uh, that's per perfectly fine. Okay. And uh, does this tie in with Cisco Prime? And feel free to elaborate on that. So uh, that's a very good question. So um, Cisco Prime is more a network management solution uh, focusing on app caps. Uh, so it's a network management solution. It doesn't currently have analytics capability built in. So the solution uh, Candy is a hosted services, and it, we are not doing network management here. Uh, the area we are focusing on more is the network optimization, network planning um, area, and also, as you can see uh, during the presentation, um, the solution has the analytic um, uh, capability building, which can deliver uh, lots of functionality that's not available in the network management solution. And also, uh, I want to um, enforce that because it's not a network management tool, so uh, you don't have to install your, or uh, maintain or doing the patch yourself. It's hosted on Cisco, so there's no maintenance involved. <clears throat> Very good. And a question here are, what are the exact data collection requirements for Candy? Oh, that's a, another uh, excellent question. Um, so um, if you already have a network optimization service or smart net to look here, um, so uh, the data is already collected. Uh, so all we need is the output from four CLI commands such as um, show running configuration, show diag, show version, and show hardware. And we use that to discover the information we need. Uh, we don't need anything else, and those four commands are 
the information you need to provide to Cisco when you open the support case anyway. So we don't uh, need a anything more. Okay. And um, how often is the data collected? And can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, okay. So typically, um, what I see is uh, the typical cadence is a monthly collection, monthly upload, and then we do the monthly processing. And obviously, uh, there's no technical limitation on how often you want to do the uh, collection, but that's just uh, what we see customer is doing uh, in general. Okay, and is the portal data in real time? Oh, um, that's a good point. Uh, I just want to share with you that, as you can see from the demo, the data is not real time um, because uh, the functionality is based on uh, the network optimization side is not uh, F caps uh, that kind of functionality. So most of the customer feel like monthly uh, refresh or monthly processing, and, and they see new data every month uh, is sufficient for them. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to encourage our uh, attendees today to continue to submit these questions, and we'll be answering them. Uh, so there's still time to submit your uh, questions. So this next one is, uh, does connected analytics for network deployment support third-party devices? Um, so right now, um, Candy um, supports uh, Cisco devices. Uh, we haven't started to support uh, third-party devices. And down the road, we are definitely uh, consider that. Uh, it's just like right now, we are strictly focusing on the Cisco devices. Okay. And uh, will service request data include cases from partners? And can you explain that a little bit more? Uh, the support, support case data, um, includes all the support cases that's logged in, in Cisco uh, database. Uh, no matter it's from customer or from partner, if they are logging into Cisco uh, C3 um, or Cisco database, um, then we are able to processing that. Um, that's the current version. Now, um, I know some customer where they have partner, uh, they have a third party ticketing system, et cetera, and that's um, the integration we are working on. Uh, it's going to be available in the future. Thank you. There's another question here. Do these analytics cover security deployment as well? Because the um, person who submitted this feels that merging of performance and security is very valuable. Yes, yeah, we do. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. And is a prioritized list result of NC drilling down and simulating changes? Um, can you rephrase a, a little bit, or can you just repeat that again? Sorry. Sure. <laughs> is prior prioritized list result is a result of NC drilling down and simulating changes? Uh, the prioritized list, um, so um, now to answer this question is, uh, as you can see from the demo, um, the portal itself uh, already give you a prioritized list. Obviously, um, the data is data, right? If you, uh, it needs a human to interpret. So. Uh, it's a combination of the portal data uh, plus the network technology, your NCE, or you have um, to uh, properly uh, interpret the data and come up with the priority list. Thank you. And does Candy support data center devices? And feel free to elaborate on that. Uh, it does support data center devices such as uh, Nexus devices and MDS. And we are working on to support UCS uh, in the future. Now, if we take a look at um, uh, from the case management and the disruption 
point of view. Now, if you have a case open for UCS or uh, for any of the uh, call manager, that's not an issue because it's, a, it's going to log into the Cisco support cases. So we are support that. It's just like from the consistency point of view, um, we support um, Nexus devices but haven't supported UCS yet. Okay. And uh, how is peer identified? Uh, the peer is identified based on their uh, vertical industry. So the peer uh, is based on our domain knowledge. We will uh, select the peer uh, based on the network size and based on the same vertical industry. Okay. And I encourage people to continue to submit their questions. And uh, here's a question on, does the collector need a permanent connection to Cisco? So as you can see, uh, because Portal does not need a, like a real data you have to do every five minutes, like a network management tool. So um, typically, uh, when customers doing monthly upload or monthly collection, all they need to do is turn on the collector during that time um, being uh, to do the collection and then to do the upload. After that, uh, it doesn't have to be on. So it doesn't require a permanent connection. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you. I think that's uh, all the questions that we have for today. Um, so that's going to conclude the portion of uh, the event for questions. Um, we do have a uh, polling question here, a trivia question. And that trivia question is, uh, what do Henry Ford of Ford Motor Company and Cisco have in common? And that's A, Henry Ford studied and measured the pacing of the processes down the assembly line when the Model T was produced back in 1908. This is one of the early examples of the use of analytics to improve production. Cisco is now doing the same for network analytics, which enables companies to better analyze the data flow on their networks and improving upon their processes. Or B, Cisco collaborated with the engineering team at Ford based off of previous automotive production line analytics, first developed by Henry Ford to develop a new model for the upcoming Detroit Auto Show. Or C, a descendant of Henry Ford and a Cisco employee collaborated to using Henry Ford's previous work with analytics to help the company develop and test Cisco's connected analytics and network management. So go ahead and choose one of those, and we'll answer that trivia in, in just a moment. While you're waiting for your answers, we'd like to share some additional information with you about the Cisco support community. So if you haven't already uh, logged in to the Cisco support community recently, we encourage you to do so. We have a brand new look and feel. So log in and start sharing information today. And of course, be sure to join the Cisco support community where you can share current real world technical support knowledge with your peers and experts. You can also participate in live events and interactive events like the one you're participating in today. Also be sure to check out the class of 2014 event top contributors and spotlight awards on the Cisco support community. And if you are interested in conducting an event for us and becoming a top event contributor yourself, please go to the Experts Bureau and sign up. Our presence in social media continues to expand, so we encourage you to visit the community and join us through these various channels. We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, LinkedIn, and we also have a, a newsletter that goes out monthly that you can subscribe to. We also continue to expand our reach in many different languages, so if you have a if you speak a different language, be sure to check out that community. We have also recently launched our Chinese community, so please be sure to stop by and browse through that if you speak Chinese. Take a moment to rate the content of your peers' documents, videos, and blogs. In doing so, you help us recognize the wonderful content that they contribute on a regular basis. And if you are looking for more information, on IT and technical training, be sure to log into the Cisco Learning Network, our sister network, and take advantage of the technical webinars that they offer. Go to the link provided in the chat to uh, learn a little bit more. And now the answer to today's trivia question was A, Henry Ford studied and measured the pacing of the processes down the assembly line when they first uh, produced the Model T back in 1908. 
This is one of the early examples of the use of analytics to improve production, and now Cisco is now doing the same for network analytics, which enables companies to better analyze the data flow in their networks and improving upon their processes. Before signing off, please take a few minutes to complete your evaluation of today's session. This really helps us address your business needs and interests in the future. And this concludes our session today. I want to thank Jun Zhang for sharing her expertise with us today. I also want to thank our experts Hanlin Fang and Bob Clithero for answering your technical questions. I want to thank you all for attending and have a wonderful day.